guys, the time has come for me to try to get my porch together for the fall. I'm just going to show you an overview of how it looks now. Don't judge me. Yes, I still have my Christmas rug down there from last year. <laughs> yes. And um, this is just how it's looking. It's really not in bad shape. Just there's really nothing on it. And that's my wreath that I had for the summer. And I just have two fold plants on the plant stands here um, along the door. So yeah, I'm going to probably spray it down. It really isn't dirty um, shop because normally we have a lot of gnats and bugs. I think my husband actually, when he did the porch, the back, the screen and porch in the backyard, he must be also did the front porch because honestly, it really isn't bad. Got a couple of spots there, so I'm probably just going to rinse it off with some water. I'm not going to use any type of product. Um, and then, of course, sweep the, uh, the porch. So, yeah, that is what I'm about to do. And this is how the top portion is looking. Yeah, the light. See how the light has all those bugs on, on there? It looks like it's more on the inside. Yo, that looks nasty. But for the most part, it looks pretty good. This last year when I came out here to do my uh, porch, I had to really, really clean it. So, yeah, I'm happy for that. That kind of saved me a step, you guys. So, yeah, this is what we're going to do today. Is spray down the porch and just get decorating for the fall so you guys thank you for joining me as we jump into this video stay tuned I just want to show you before and after this is how the chairs look before I had these chairs since I moved here been here for we moved in when I purchased my home like two years ago I believe so maybe going on three years or close to three years that I have had these chairs on my front porch and you see how it's rusted um, probably just from it being outside of course the chairs were cheap uh, I think they were like either 15 or $20, maybe 10, 10 or $15 from uh, Dollar General. I do have a video up on my uh, channel when I first purchased these chairs and did my front porch um, decor. So y'all guys can check that out. So that's the before chair. Here is the after, after I spray painted it with my spray paint so you guys can see how just one can well not even a whole can um of spray paint but what spray paint can actually do to your furniture you know how sometimes we're quick to throw old furniture pieces away we can actually revamp it and make it look new just by spray painting it so i was just wanted to give you guys a close-up as to how it looks compared to um, before I spray painted it so yeah this is how it's looking and I love it looks brand spanking new um, I do have some drip where I was a little too close I think I was too close to it but can't really tell from afar and if you guys are wondering where I got this roll of paper from I bought this from Home Depot today. It was $11.97. Um, so yeah, you can use this for many of projects that you have around your home to keep your surfaces clean and 
paint free or whatever that you're doing so yeah just want to give you a close-up I'm going to finish this one off camera also I have my table which is over there on my porch I'm going to spray paint that my uh, flower pot holder plant holder whatever you want to call it those two uh, were the plant where well, you can only see one in the video in this clip but those are not rusted at all so I don't have to spray paint those so I'm going to finish this chair as well as my table off camera and then you guys will see me put my porch together so stay tuned Okay, you guys, I'm going to walk you through what I've done. I've had this sign out here last year. I explained where I got it from already in my um, other video. The I think it's called my front porch decor, something like that. Um, but you will see where I got this from in the other video and why it says a J and why I have an H on <laughs> my front porch as well. Um, I've already had these plants here. These was purchased a long time ago from Kirkland's and I just placed them here at the beginning of my porch and that's a real pumpkin there. I decided to put my welcome sign here and I did wanted another 
orange mum, but they only had one in this size because of course I wanted them both to be the same size so this area here may change but as of now I just place a pumpkin on the other plant stand I just placed a pumpkin on the other pl uh, plant stand and then here is the carpet the two uh, rugs buffalo plaid and then my pumpkin uh, rug and then over here is where I decided to put the uh, galvanized um, H for our last name and here is the wreath this is a Dollar Tree welcome you know it comes three in a pack welcome thankful and I think grateful or something like that no harvest welcome harvest and thankful and I just nestled that sign in between those pumpkins to kind of keep it from falling it's not tied in or anything I just kind of pushed it in between those pumpkins and it just says welcome uh, that was very appropriate and then over here like I said they only have one mom this size this was $19.99 and then I have two smaller moms here yes it's yellow I wanted orange but the orange ones looked terrible so I may go to Lowe's these moms was purchased from home goods I mean from um uh, what's the name of the store um home depot so i may go and look at Lowe's. so this may change when i actually do my whole um home tour it may change but as of now this is what i have here is the chairs and the pillows just place those there y'all my chairs look so good they look like brand new chairs oh my gosh i'm so amazed with that um spray paint that i use and I'll show y'all the spray paint in a moment. Um, this flower um, thing here, this container came from the Dollar Tree. And then um, it's either Dollar Tree or Dollar General, but I believe it was only like a dollar. And then these two uh, little planters I got from Dollar General last year. I just uh, put those two on the inside of this flower um, pot if you will and then I just added some more green um, some more greenery in the front as well as in the back and then I added some I think this is called wheat uh, either barley I added those on the two sides here the front and the back just to give it more of a fall appearance the pumpkins came in with those two scrawl basket you know what no I actually got those two scrawl basket from michael's last year yeah michael's so i just added more to it like i said put it in put both of those inside this pot um galvanized pot and then i just added some more greenery and that barley there and i actually lift those pumpkins up a little bit so you can actually see them and it has styrofoam on the inside that's why i was able to add some more greenery and everything to that and then here i just have a galvanized um little house here and I purchased that from Dollar General it was on sale for eight dollars and then on the inside I just have a Dollar Tree candle holder on the inside of the candle holder I have a battery operated tea light and then um, I have a orange pumpkin an orange leaf and then a buffalo plaid pumpkin that you can't really see but it's on the inside there and down below i just have a real another real pumpkin and over here in this chair is the same as the other one and then there's my other mom of course i'm going to move that uh ladder and scissors in a moment and then above my table and chairs i have my beautiful crosses that i also uh put in my fall porch home decor I love them you guys I do have the the silver the silver um, uh, holders I don't feel like changing them I forgot that four came in a pack because on my H you can see that it's gray to match the uh, the H and I was like oh man I should have had uh, two more silver ones and I actually do and I forgot about it but I'm not gonna change it I'm just gonna keep it as is it doesn't look bad so yeah that's how everything is looking you guys like i said it may change but as of now this is what i have it's not going to change by much if anything i will probably have some more mums 
and I'm thinking about adding something else in this corner right here think about adding another small pumpkin I don't want to overcrowd my table but we'll see but um as of now this is what I have also let me tell you guys what I plan on doing on I was gonna get three of them but my daughter told me just to get two I'm gonna go to Walmart they have the scarecrows um, they cost I think like six dollars and ninety four cents I was gonna get three but um, my daughter told me to just get two and put one on each end of the post like one on that post right there and one on this post and not to put one in the middle so um, we'll see but when I do the final tour you guys will see um, what else I added of course my husband needs to cut the grass y'all I hate the way this look so hopefully by next year before the summer I want to actually uh, pluck all of these trees out because they're not growing they were here since uh, when they built my home these trees actually came uh, plants whatever you want to call them came with um, the property once it was built but they're not growing and they look so ugly and tacky so we're probably gonna pull that up and I wish I could um I don't know I may get some scarecrows and put them there instead of on the poles what y'all think should I put them on the poles or should I stick them um right here in the grass I mean like right here at the beginning of the porch I'm not sure but anyways yeah this is what we have so far you guys so yeah stay tuned for my fall tour my home tour and you guys will see any upgrades that i have done any changes that i have made but as of now this is what we have so thank you so much for joining me on this video you guys make sure you love yourself and stay true to yourself and be the best you that you can be and happy fall y'all until the next time this is simply monique love you guys bye Here, it, here is the spray um, paint that I use for my chairs. If anyone is interested, it really does dry in eight minutes, you guys. As soon as I spray painted it and I waited for about eight minutes and it was completely dry. And this was purchased from, from Walmart. It was $4.96 from Walmart. Thank you.